the products that we are launching this afternoon. So without further ado, let me call and stay uh, here in front. Uh, the head of lending uh, for Mint, we have Kim Seng. Thank you so much Jay, for the introduction. And thank you so much everyone for coming here today to um, actually share this incredible day with us. So again, I'm Kim and um, I head the, the product team for lending. And we are actually very, very honored to share with you today how we are looking at making a dent in the lending industry and in the lives of many, many Filipinos who are actually having a difficulty in terms of making ends meet. So, but before we start with the products, let me ask you a question first. Why is it that it's very difficult for the majority of the Filipinos to borrow money? Look at the person beside me and ask yourself, will I let this person borrow money? Yeah, so if yes, probably you know that person well already, right? You have an existing relationship with that person already or probably that person borrowed, from mo borrowed money from you before and then probably she, he or she paid back. That's why you're really willing to pay, uh, to, to let that person borrow money. If no, probably because that person is a stranger. You don't have relationship with that person yet. Probably because you don't trust that person yet. And the question is, how do you actually get to trust a person? First, of course, you have to know the person. Second, which is the most important thing, you have to have a good relationship with that person. And we think that trust is really the core of lending. That's why we are really looking at why is it that it's very difficult for majority of the Filipinos today to get access or to get the trust of many providers. Let's start with banks. So have you ever had the chance or the experience of trying out and getting a loan from a bank? If you're a small business owner, probably um, you, you, have, you went in a bank, you need some capital, but you have to have lots of financial documents. You have to have lots of formal proof of your capacity. That even if your business is growing, even if your business is doing well, if it's not documented, it's not counted. Next, for family and friends. How many of the few or the Filipinos of today get the chance to actually beg for money from family and friends? That even though masakit sa pride or sa ego, pero kailangan during that time, because of emergencies, you have to do it. And the sad reality is, because of the limited options we have today, people, or majority of the Filipinos, actually tend to go to loan sharks. And because of the lack of trust, or of the lack of the trust system we have today, loan sharks actually charge 20% interest. And as you see, the interest is actually a representation of a trust between one party and another. And that's the reason why the, the, there is high interest for loan sharks. And we spent a lot of years and time actually um, interviewing customers and knowing about our customers. And this is what they said. Okay lang sa, okay lang sa akin ng 5-6, kahit na mataas ang interest. Kasi mabalis lang humiram kapag kailangan. Wala na kung ano-ano hindi and this saddens us because of the limited option they are left with loan sharks kapit sa patalim even though nababao na sila sa utang so we are here to disrupt this we are here to change the lives of Filipinos we are here to give another option for the Filipinos imagine no 